Hey guys, this is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey, <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right, we got a great subject for ourselves today, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Give you a little fist bump, say howdy. Our subject for today is selling. Stop being content and success will grow. What do you say? I said selling. Stop being content and success will grow. You know, that's a crazy subject, but you know, it makes a lot of sense. See, a lot of times we get what they call content. We get kind of lazy. We start selling and uh, we just don't sell as hard as we used to. You ever been there? I've done that and I've written some of them checks. And I'm going to tell you what, for me to be able to change, I have to stop being content. I got to stop being satisfied with status quo. The only way to grow is to go through things. You have to work harder or should I say you should work smarter? You know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. I told you I'd tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the warts and all. And when it comes to selling, the key to success in this regard is you got to stop being content. Some people, they get to a, plat a platform, they're right where they are. They make their little forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year, and they're happy, they're content. But see, we're salespeople. We work on this thing called commission, the mighty dollar, honey. And I'm going to tell you what, if you want to make more, you got to stop being content. If you, if you want to grow, you can't stay where you're at. See, there's a lot of people that are out there that are fresh, brand new, or maybe just coming on that can bypass you and make you look really, really bad. Because, see, what has happened is, is you become what they call status quo. You started making your sales. You started doing pretty good. And then you got satisfied. When was the last time you asked yourself, are you hungry? Okay, Gary Lee, are you hungry? Yes, I am. So I had to revisit this subject because, see, it means a lot to me. Because I have gotten to a point in my selling career a couple of two or three, four or five times where I was content with what I was making. I was making pretty good. But the problem is, is I got to a point where I wanted more. I see people that are doing better than me and I'm thinking, well, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Some of them are working smarter. Some are working harder and some are doing the do. They're doing the things that a lot of people don't like to do. The work. <laughs> you know, my name is Gary. At least daily, your sales guy. Our topic for today is selling. Stop being content and success will grow. That means your success will grow. That means if you put out there more than it's given, then, you know, see, here's the thing, guys. You know, if you only put a little bit in, you get a little bit out. You put a little bit more in, you get a little bit more out. But if you put a whole lot, that means you work the extra hours. You knock on them doors more than the others. If you pick up that heavy phone and call people, I'm telling you what, it works if you work it, but you got to live it. It's a truth. You know, in the selling career, you know, one of the things that I've noticed about people who always stay on top is they're doing more. They're doing the extra work. They're staying out a little bit later. Now, see, what happens, too, is after a while, once you get proficient at selling, you'll be able to talk to less people and make more money. It just works like that, honey. It really, really do. And I'm telling you the truth because, see, I've seen it in my own selling career. It's amazing. I used to get a tremendous amount of leads and I'd burn through those leads or I'd knock on a tremendous amount of doors and I wouldn't sell as much. But as I got a little bit better at what I was doing, remember what I said, got better at what I was doing because, see, I was practicing it over and over and over. And the more people you see, the better you get. And if you're working on yourself, you're always studying. In. I mean, I'm listening to Do Vincent Peale, Earl Nightingale. I'm listening to Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, Tommy Hopkins. I'm looking at Bedford. I'm, t I'm listening to people, Pena, people that are putting a fire under me. That means I hope I'm putting a fire in you. You got to think outside the box. You got to think outside the box. A lot of people, they stay right where they're at and they're okay with that. But if you're a salesperson, you can't tell me you're content because we work on commission, honey, and we need to make some money. And see, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Today we're talking about selling, being, stop being content, and success will grow in your life. I don't care what you do. You know, at one point I got really, really heavy. I was over 300 pounds and I got really, really heavy. It was like, man, I, I just gave up. Life was, you know, I had gotten, I got hurt. I wasn't doing good. I thought, you know, this was what was going to be my life. 
And then I started going to the gym. I started walking. I started talking. I started doing things. I started watching what I was eating instead of eating what I was watching. I got not, I got content with where I was. And see, what happens is, is when you get content, you die. You really do. And so you got to ask yourself, am I content? You know, a lot of times being happy with what you have is not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. Being content and satisfied, be grateful that God's blessed you in a mighty way. But see, here's the thing. A lot of times we give up before the miracle. I don't believe God wants us to be content with mediocre. I think God wants us to be content with the best that we can do. And if we're doing just a half butt job and we're not doing the best that we can do, we ain't getting out there putting our guns out there. We ain't working hard. We ain't working smart. We're uh, just, we're not living life. You know, our subject for today is selling and stop being content and success will help you to grow. Success can mean a lot of different things to a lot of people. I mean, taking care of my son has been one of the biggest successes that I've had in my life. Being able to bring him up by myself has been a blessing. And I've been able to grow from it because I became a man. You know, and a lot of things, I take my son with me when I go out selling. A lot of people say, why would you do that? Because I want my son to see the real world. I want him to have that capability to have conversations with people. You got to look at yourself, guys. You got to look in the mirror. Uh, If you're just starting as a salesperson, the key to success in this regard is don't get stagnated. Don't stop. When other people are, they, it's like one time, let me tell you this. When I first got in a sale, there was this competition that we had with this particular company. Now, I ended up winning this competition, but see, here's the thing. You know, I got like 300 orders in one week. You know what? I had some people that were on my tail. Now, I was very fortunate that these people didn't beat me. And I got a lot of accolades. I got the big old giant trophy, the Stanley trophy. I got awards. I got all kinds of stuff. And I can look back at all that stuff and go, great. But see, here's the problem. I got content. I won. But see, here's the thing. When the iron is hot, that's when you should go out there and hit it more. We had an extra day or two. Now, somebody could have surpassed me. And I've seen some people who will come on like gangbusters, brand new salespersons that are just like, they don't know that they can't succeed. They don't know. They see people showing them how to make money and they've never made it before. So what do they do? They get really, really quick and start selling and selling and selling. And then what I've seen also is they get content with the lifestyle of a salesperson. They got content. They stopped growing. If you're green, you're growing. If you're ripe, you're rotting. You ever heard that expression before? You know, and in selling, you got to remember, you're always wanting to grow. So what I do is I'm always studying. I'm always wanting to get new licenses and and certifications. I'm always training. I'm always studying. I'm looking outside the box thinking, what more can I learn? Because, see, if we have the capacity to be able to grow, why shouldn't we? If we get stagnated and we stop growing, we're dead in the water. And the key to success in selling is we got to keep on giving. If you have given up, then that's up to you. You know, I'm telling you, the subject for today is selling. Stop being content and success will will help you to grow. You know... I've been in sales since the 80s in one form or capacity, from customer service, door-to-door, business-to-business, over the phone. I've worked at all levels of sales. I've worked in call centers, and I've seen people that were that could be very, very good at what they do. I mean, they could be the number one person in the company. They could be number one, but they got tent, content with mediocrity. They got content with being status quo. They thought, wow, man, I'm making enough money, man. I don't need to do no more. That's not cool, buddy. If you're a person who's wanting to be number one or at least in the top 1%, top 10% of your company, you got to have that outside the box thinking. Well, you got to say to myself, well, what do I need to do better? What do I need to do to improve myself? Where can I get some information to help me to grow? See, the key to success in this regard is we look for mentors. We look for people that motivate us. And see, you got to have a positive attitude, guys. You've got to write down your direction. You've got to write down what you want to achieve. You've got to write down your goals. You've got to write down your gratitude list. So when things aren't always going right, you can look back at that gratitude list and go, damn, I'm doing real, real good. 
And see, you got to stop comparing yourself to others too, guys. See, not a, you're going to have some people that are always going to be number one. They're always going to have people that are going to be bigger and better than you are. I don't care what you do. But see, you may be that person that's bigger, better than anyone else. So make sure that when you're doing real, real good, help those brothers and sisters out there that need a little pushing, a little bit of you can do this, and show them a little bit of your special sauce. Now, you may be going, what special sauce? It's what you know, your knowledge. The more people we help, it's like God always blesses me. You know, I do these videos. I got over 400 sales videos, guys, in one form or capacity. I talk about getting a mortgage license, insurance license. I talk about working in retail. I talk about closes, ideas on how it's like and what it's like to be a salesperson. So what I like to do is I like to give it away because if you give it away, you can keep it. The more people you help, and God always blesses you, it comes back to you. It's like the Japanese, they used to have this little proverb, you drop a, a pebble in a palm, and it, palm, a pond, and it has these little ripple effects. And see, you don't know who you're going to touch. You don't know who you're going to bless. So if you want to grow and you're stop, stop being damn content. Stop being happy with just status quo. Stop being happy with mediocrity. Be your best. Shoot for the stars. And daggone, if you land on the moon, you're done pretty doggone good. People that work and get gold medals and stuff like that, you know, they didn't just show up there and say, well, I'm here. They worked for it. So if you want, remember, our topic for today is selling. Stop being content and success will help you to grow. Success will grow with inside of you. You know, I wear my little smiley faces every day to tell myself, here, you got to smile. See, some days are going to be real good. You're going to go out there. You're going to sell a lot. You're going to make some money on it. And then some days are going to be like, dang, man, you stink. What happened to you? Don't give up. See, what happens is, is you can throw yourself under the, under the bus and put yourself down. And you can have this negative attitude. And it can go on and on and on. And you become mediocre. Don't be that person. If things ain't working out, go back to the fundamentals, the basics. Get your little foundation. The key to success is you got to have people in your life that can bless you and mentor. And I pray a lot, guys. I tell you what, I be praying to God all the time. I be saying, God, please help me. You know, I believe in Jesus. That's for me. You can believe in what you want, but I know what I believe. And I know that if I want to be the best that, I gotta, that I'm going to be, I have to be willing to grow. I have to be willing to not stop being content. Now, a lot of people preach, be content, be content with what you got. I don't think so. I don't want to be content with what I got. I want more. That don't mean that I don't, that I don't have a heart and I don't care about life and I don't care about other people, but I don't believe my God wants me to have mediocre. I believe God wants people to do the best that they can do. And our topic for today is selling. Stop being content. And success will grow. You know, I remember when I first started in sales, I had a little bitty apartment. It was a, it was okay. Then I got a little bit better. And then, you know, I got my own house now. I got my own cars. I, I mean, I've got a lot of things that I didn't have when I first started. And this will happen to you too. Especially if you're a young salesperson. Don't give up before the miracle, baby. Don't be content. And save your money. Now, listen, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're just starting in sales or you're starting all over, all over with a new product in sales, stop being content. But you got to live within your means. Now, that means instead of going out there spending all your money on a bunch of stuff that you really, you know, you like and you want and everything and everybody's looking at you, thinking you're all that. And then you're poor and you ain't got no money and you got to starve during the week until you sell something. That sucks. So you got to live within your means. You got to do the right next thing and, and put some money away for a rainy day. Because you're going, like I said, have good days, bad days, sad days, and mad days. And some days you ain't going to sell nothing. <laughs> and you're going to have weather days, rainy days, just all kinds of crazy days in this world. But see, the key to success in life is, hey, man, we got to plan for our future. Set those goals in motion. Remember, selling, stop being content and success will grow. You got to plant a seed before you get a plant. 
you got to plant positive seeds before you can get positive in, positive out. And you want to do your best every single day, guys. Even if things don't seem to be working out, it's a numbers game. Get out there, start selling. But if you ain't asking for the order, you ain't selling. My name is Gary Lee Stanley. We just had a very simple conversation today about selling. Stop being content and success will grow. If you want something to grow, you got to water it. You got to feed it. You got to do all the things that a lot of people don't want to do. That means work. So go out there and sell something. And remember, selling. Stop being content and your success will grow. I promise. So go out there and sell something. little fist bump. You have a wonderful day. And I'm going to tell you what. Success grows, but you got to be willing to want to change. How about you? You going to change? I did. All right.